Oh, so uh, this video, I'm going to talk about isotope worksheet. So isotope is actually any element with the same atomic number, meaning same proton, but they have different atomic mass because they have different mass number due to the fact that they have different neutron. So you want to imagine that they have the same ID, but they have different neutrons, so that make their mass number different and make their atomic mass also different. So for example, we have carbon-12. Right, carbon 12, uh, the atom is 12, 6 carbon. We can also have carbon 13 and carbon 14. They're the isotopes. So we have two ways to explain, like to represent isotope. One is the, the symbol. So MAX, the new M mass number, for example, 13, 6, C. 13 is a new mass number. The other way to represent is the name. So the format to write is element hyphen new mass number. So for example, carbon 13. So, but when we, when we name it carbon, we will say carbon atom. So there could be like many different kinds of isotope, right? The neutron can be more, can be less than the atom, okay? So, um, for example, if you look it up here, all right, the zinc 66, so the max, we're gonna write 66, and the atomic is um, number 30, atomic number is 30, and zinc. So this one is actually different from the the mass number of the zinc on the periodic table because the zinc on the periodic table is 65.34. So the mass number for zinc on the periodic table is 65. So this is 66. So this is an isotope because a different mass number. And then the chlorine 35, you run around the mass is 3517Cl. And this has the same mass number as the one on the periodic table after we run the atomic mass. So this is actually an Okay. Now the back, there are two formulas you need to write. First is the mass number equals proton plus neutron. Why we have to add the proton plus neutron? Because we don't give you atomic mass here. So how can you find a mass number is how many proton and how many neutron totally add up. You have to show me the map. The other one is that you've seen it before is the neutron equals mass number minus atomic number, which is the man. Okay. So let's look up this. Okay, so you'll be given proton 6, neutron 6 and 7, right? So the proton is 6, electron must be 6 because isotope is the same charge, uh, like uh, um, um, no charge, okay? We did not touch the electron. So proton and electron are the same, so 6 and 6. Um, atomic number will be the same thing as proton, so be 6 and 6. And then um, the mass number, again, we did not get...